Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys for coming back. Right now, what I'm just going to be doing is showing you guys an updated, updated foundation routine video. I recently did one actually, I think over summer, and I didn't really like it that much. But I wanted to do an updated one because I wanted to show you guys and include in how I conceal under my eyes uh, with my new Ben Nye powder as well as um, contouring and highlighting and stuff like that. Just so you guys can see just how I do it personally and how I what products I use and my favorite things to use for contouring and highlighting. So I just wanted to let you guys see that. And um, if you do want to continue to see what my foundation routine is and all the steps that I take to do like a complete face, please do continue watching. Let's get started. The first thing that I want to talk about is um, priming. And I think this is really important to know that when you're priming your face and when you're applying your foundation, you need to kind of match the two. And by that, I mean some foundations are oil-based and some are like water-based and stuff like that. So the one that I have is the Hello Flawless um, Oil-Free SPF 25 Oxygen Wild Brightening Makeup. So I really, really love this and it works, it works well. It works really good. You get a really bright appearance like it says and it claims and everything like that. You get flawless, it covers up all your marks, everything. So because this is oil-free, I pair it with an oil-free primer. And the primer that I use and that has been my favorite and I actually bought the full size of this. It's in the mail coming. It's the Smashbox Photo Finish Luminizing Oil-Free Foundation Primer. So these two work well together. They give you a flawless appearance and they really do sit well on top of each other. So if you're going with an oil-based primer, you need to get a foundation that's not oil-free because oil and water doesn't really work. I mean, I'm sure everyone all knows so that. So that's just that's just a little thing that I recently learned and I wanted to share with you guys because it just it makes sense and it makes everything so much more like, oh wow, that really like it's it's common sense. You know what I mean? I'm so, sure you could find other primers out there that are oil free as well. I mean you don't have to use the Smashbox if one. If you have an oil based foundation, get an oil based primer. If you have an oil free foundation, get an oil free primer and you'll see the difference in your makeup. So I'm just gonna go ahead and prime my face with the Smashbox primer. My mirror is just over here, so that's why I'm looking. Usually with my foundation, the things that I use are, I definitely for one use my beauty blender for sure. I love this stuff, it's so good. But I've also been using my Sigma F86 brush and I really, really like this. I definitely feel though, like you don't need, cause I got the the Sigmax um, synthetic set. I don't think you need all of them. I use this one a lot for foundation just because I love how it is. It's a tapered kabuki, so it's really, really good. It gets in all your creases and everywhere, like just, you know, it's really good. So I love this one, and I also love for applying foundation, the Coastal Scents brush that I got in the 22 brush set. It's so good. I don't know. I'm pretty sure other places make brushes like this too, but it's um it's like a duo fiber. It's kind of like a sip, stippling brush. Um but I really like it because it's not like a flimsy, oh, this is just a stippling brush. It's a really dense brush. It's so dense and thick, and it has all of that on top and then it has like the other hair at the bottom. So I think this works so so well. Um, just kind of like buffing it in and blending it in. It works really good. So I like this one for that. I'm pretty sure, I think you can get this separate. Also sense brushes, um, sometimes they might loosen up, but you just uh, crazy glue it back in and it'll be good again. So I really like these. I'm just going to go ahead and apply my foundation really quickly so you guys can see. And usually what I do is I take one pump. Oh, it's kind of like weird. So I take one pump and then I just dot it all over my face like that. Um, I dot it mostly first in the areas that I want to cover up the most. And then the rest I just kind of like put randomly along my face. Afterwards, I would go in with either brush or beauty blender and just kind of like blend it out. Just like so. And you can see it blends really effortlessly and flawlessly. I really, really love this brush. This brush does a lot. And I do feel like if you are 
getting streaks and stuff like that, just kind of lightly brush it over your face. Like, you know, you don't want to push it too hard, um, but if you do it lightly, it should blend in perfectly. And I usually do two layers of this just because I want to get really good coverage over my marks, but I mean, you can just use one if you want a really light coverage. So, I'm just going to go ahead and get another pump of that on my hand. If you do want, and if you're using like a paddle brush or something like that, you should go in like downward strokes just because it goes, um, it because like, we do have hair on our face so it kind of, it covers the hair and it doesn't like make it all weird and like blotchy kind of um like because we're like if we're going up you're gonna get like all the hair in your face is gonna go up and it's gonna leave it all like, weird so just usually in a downward motion to blend it in obviously you want to go in circular motions but afterwards um just go in like a downward motion like what I'm doing right now is on this side, I would go, what side is this? I would go clockwise. So in the end, all of my foundation is going down. If you could see what I'm doing, it's all going down. And on this side, I do it the other way, counterclockwise. So it goes down there, there. <laughs> um, so just all here, just like that. Okay, and sometimes I would go over my eyes, but you don't have to do that if you don't want to. So you can see it's all pretty flawless. My favorite concealer of pretty much all time is the Hard Candy Glamouflage Concealer. It's really creamy, really thick, covers up everything, and it's in tan, and um, it really just brighten up and highlight. And this over or under your banana powder really makes that eye area look super flawless and really nice. So that's just the hard candy. Um, I forgot to tell you the shade that I'm in in the foundation and it's Toasted Beige. Another brush from Coastal Scents, it's a concealer brush. So I would just get that on my hand and get a little bit. You really don't need a lot of this, but I like to kind of like take it um, just kind of like in this area in general because I have a lot of marks here and I want this area to be really highlighted. I'm a dance like gay, dance, dance like gay, dance like gay, dance, dance like gay. Till my clothes fall, till my, till my clothes fall, till my, till my clothes fall, till my, till my clothes fall off. Oh, I'm a dance like gay, dance, dance like gay, dance like gay, dance, dance like gay. Till my clothes fall, till my, till my clothes fall, till my, till my clothes fall, till my, till my clothes fall off. Oh. So coolio like Kenan and Kel on. This ain't the type of dance you move and get felt on. Why my jeans loose? Could have sworn I had a belt on, but it's alright. Like to say by the bell song. Neck left and right, like I'm kicking a quirk. Knee and feet moving, but I'm at a jerk. Riding that beat like a wave, but don't know how to surf. My shoelace loose while I kick up the turf. You think you go hard, but I go bolder. Tired of all the lies and decent exposure. I'm higher than you've ever been before. That's the reason why I dance. Till my clothes hit the floor. I'm a dance like baby. Set this, I would use my Ben Nye banana powder. This is not what it came in, but I got the giant bottle. I went to the beauty supply store and I got these little containers. And um, this is just what I have now. And this is what I use. And I like it because it's like it has a big thing, so you can just tap your beauty blender inside, which is what I do. I wet my beauty blender, and with a wet beauty blender, I tap it into the banana powder, and then I just lightly tap it under my eye. Just like that. So at first, when I first got the banana powder, I had a lot of issues with it. I didn't know how to use it. I was applying it with a brush. Like, I just, I didn't know what was going on. And then it was just kind of like being all weird on me. So I was just like, what the hell? Like, this stuff isn't good. Why is everyone raving about it? I asked a few people and they told me like, this is what they do. So I was just like, damn, that's a good idea. My camera is about to die. Shucks. But I'm just going to hurry up and tell you this. So this is what you do basically and um, that's just how it looks. It's flawless. 
Like you don't see any creases, you don't see anything under here, so this is what I do. I know a lot of people take it like on their forehead or like on their nose just because it controls a lot of oil. So if you're an oily person, you would like this as well. But I don't do that. I just keep it right under my eyes. But I know some people like to set their face and stuff like that with it. But I feel like if you have a lot of pores and a lot of lines and stuff like that, you would love this. But for me personally, I just like it under my eyes. After I conceal and everything like that, I would go ahead and set my face with a powder. Which is the Hello Flawless by Benefit. I really, really was excited because I have the foundation and I love that. So I figured this on top of the foundation which is totally complimented because they were made for each other. So then the brush that I use for my powder is my Real Techniques brushes. And this is just the giant powder brush. I love Real Technique brushes and I love this one. So this one, when you like tap it into the powder, it gets really, it, the powder gets like everywhere. <laughs> it's kind of weird. But I just do that and I shake it off like in the tin just so I can capture anything. I would just shake it off like that and then I would just go ahead and start kind of buffing this into my cheeks and then like under my eyes I would just kind of like stipple it kind of so I'd get it tap it and then go ahead and circular motions in the direction of my hair and just like that now I'm just gonna talk to you guys about bronzer the Main bronzer that I usually use is the Max Mineralize Skin Finish Natural in Dark Deep. This is what it looks like. Uh, for some, it might be a little bit too like reddish orangey. I personally really, really like this. I, just, uh, I don't know. I feel like I don't want it to be brown because it'll look really kind of muddy on my skin. Another one that I really, really like is uh, the Betty Luminizer. I'm getting into this one. I use this more of like a bronzer. This one is more of like a contour color for me. Uh, it just looks like this. It just has like a really nice sheen to it almost. So I really like that one. I recently got the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. This is a matte bronzing powder. I really like this one as well. This one is more brown, but this one smells so good. It's made with like chocolate powder, so it just smells like hot cocoa on your face. It's so good. So I really, really like this. I got this as a sample. And then, of course, there's the Bare Minerals Faux Tan. This is an all-over face color. This one's a little bit more messy, so I kind of... I don't know. I use it, but this one's a lot darker as well, so this would be a good contour. I'll tell you guys what brushes I use for contouring. This is the contour brush from Real Techniques. I really like this. It fits right in the hollows of your cheeks. So I might use this one today actually. The Sigma F84 brush. This is an this is an angled brush. So if you just dip this into your contour, kind of tap it off, and then you just put it from like right here and you just bring it down, it works so well. And because this is so dense and thick, you could, when you blend it out, it really does blend it and buff it out. So I'll show you how I use this after because I use this, I would apply it with one of these and then um, I would buff it out with this one. Um, but I mean, if you want to do it all together, you can definitely use this one by itself. It's a Sigma F84. This one I use a lot for, for just applying it and stuff like that. I've recently started using the Sigma one, but this is what I use all the time. Uh, Elf Mineral Powder. I would apply this and it would just apply like right here. And this is really good and um, you can use this for blush as well. It's, it's just, it's small enough that you can use it for these things. And especially because my face is like small. It works. Um, if your face is really tiny and small, I would definitely suggest using smaller brushes because it works better on your face than having like a giant brush that just kind of like puts it all over and then it's not really precise. From what I've learned over the years, the way you apply bronzer and how you do it is you apply it from the tip. It goes from the tip of your, your ear right here to the corner, just like right under here. And if you feel that right there, this is underneath your cheekbone. So your cheekbone's right up here. You can also use a fishy face or you can turn your face to the side like this. And you'll see it's like right there for me. And then you want to apply it from the tip from here down towards around here. You want to end the contour on your face. You don't want to bring it all the way down here, obviously. Um, but you just want to end it right where your eyebrow is. So the, the arch of your eyebrow. So your eyebrow is up here. 
you want to end your contour right about here. And this is usually where I end mine. So now I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how I do this. I'm going to squirrel, tap. And I just lightly apply a little bit first. Just like that. Like in a line. Also, another thing, if you do want and you don't, you want to get it really super defined, like you don't want nothing going anywhere, a straight line, you can use like a credit card or a paper, anything like that to cover it so it doesn't get all over. So you want to put that the top of your ear, like right here, right here, to the corner of your mouth, just like that. And then you're gonna wanna go in with the color. They gon' mock, they gon' stare, they gon' persecute. But I don't care, I get loose, you could stone the shoot. You don't know the reason that I really spin around. I've been set free, and my chains on the ground. Not a slave no more from the traps made. Now I got a fresh face, like a close shave. I don't need a club, I don't need a dance floor. Anytime, any place, that's what this ground for. Always on, man, I'm never gon' go out. Living that life, so many dream about. We gon' take a trip, life on the other side. If you would only taste and see, then you would really fly. I'm a dance like day, dance, dance like David. Dance like day, dance, dance like day. Till my clothes fall, till my, till my clothes fall, till my, till my clothes fall, till my, till my clothes fall off. I'm a dance like day, dance, dance like David. Dance like day, dance, dance like David. I also put it like at the top here to just kind of like make everything one you can put it down your temples just with the extra that come that comes off from the brush just apply it right here and then down your temples and kind of connect it and then kind of do that you have a double chin some people put it up here if you have a, like a really large forehead just to kind of make it a little bit smaller i don't really need that but just showing you guys and then again, you can come blend this out here. Now if you want to apply um, a bronzer, you can as well. On top of that, I use the Betty Luminizer. Just get a little bit on my um, my other brush. Tap that off. Just kind of go over that. You still want to get it under your cheekbone, but you, know, you can be a little bit more, a little bit more all over with this one. I'm applying this a lot just so you guys can see. Um, I'm normally, like I really, I do love contour, but I'm not like, you know, freaking crazy with it. <laughs> so if you feel like you've gone down a little bit too low, you can definitely go ahead and use your foundation brush. And just kind of drag that along the bottom of your contour. So it just kind of like covers and takes away like a big giant eraser uh, what you kind of messed up on. I'm going to go ahead and apply my Bella Bomba blush just because I don't really use this one a lot and I kind of want to use it today. So it's really, it's a really nice watermelon pink color. So what I use my blush with is uh, my Real Techniques blush brush. I just get that right here. My doorbell's ringing. Brush it off and then apply that right here. Like right kind of under, like on top of my cheekbone. But like right to the apples, like right here. Not like on top of them, but like right off to the side. Right here. And then I just kind of go back and forth. Sometimes I like putting it down my nose a little bit just to kind of get that like really innocent, like cheeky, cold type look. But not like I don't like pack it on my nose, obviously. Like I just kind of like do a quick thing like that when I'm going around my face, like especially like up here as well, just because those are the places where I blush the most and like I get flushed, so I want a flush type look. My favorite things to use for highlighting, I have a bunch because I actually really do like highlighting. If I want like a golden glowy highlight, I would use the Laura Geller Blush and Brighten in Honey Dipped. That looks like this. Um, it doesn't look like this, but it cracked on me, so I had to like reset it. But it comes in like a round, um, like a dome type shape. But this is what I would use if I want to uh, just have a really pretty golden highlight. I use this. This one is the Physician's Formula Translucent Pearl Highlight color. This one's pretty good too. That's what that looks like. 
Eee, can you see? I have like weird fingers. So that's what that looks like. Another golden highlight that I really love that I was like obsessed with for like such a long time is the light bronze pearl color. And this comes with a whole bunch of like different colors in one. So it depends on like how you use it and that's how it's going to come out. Um, so if you want like a darker look, you go for the darker colors. And if you want like a pink or like a lighter color, you go for that. But if you want all together, I usually do, um, I would do that. And this is the color that you get. I really love, um, that has been probably my favorite for a, quite a while, is the... The Mary Luminizer, the highlight. This one is super gorgeous. It's so smooth, so creamy. Um, it just leaves your face with a really gorgeous sheen on it. So that's my favorite. Then there's the Hard Candy highlight in Tiki. You can use this wet or dry. So that's what that looks like. Go ahead and show you guys how what brushes I use for highlighting. There, a fan brush, and this is a brush from Coastal Scents, a part of the 22 brush collection. Like I. I have, I have like a video on it, I think, a review. But you just get a little bit of the product and then just dust it on your face like this and just kind of go back and forth with it. Or the one that I like to use a lot more is the e.l.f. Blush Brush. This is like a tapered brush that's just like, it goes, it goes tapered and then it's like really thin and skinny. So I feel like when you get the, on the powder and then you could just apply it right to where you want it and then you could just blend it out like that. It looks really gorgeous when you do it and really flawless. Just get a little bit of that on top of, on top of my brush. And then right where, like if you look straight, right where your pupil is, that's where you want to start. So like right about here and then just take it back. And I just kind of go back and forth and kind of blend it around that area right towards back to my cheekbones, right up there, right on top of that blush. So I just go ahead and use that and then I would end up just kind of like fanning it around back and forth. And then, you know, you can go back in with your blush afterwards if you got a little bit too much on top of your blush area, which is right here. So I just kind of you tap it if you want and then you just go back and forth like that. Well, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this was like really helpful for you guys. If you have any more questions about anything, products, reviews, tutorials that you want to see, definitely leave them down below in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this was helpful for you guys. Rate, comment, and subscribe. And definitely go ahead and check out my Twitter, Tumblr, and Instagram at ReeceeBabe. Thank you guys so much. Bye. Everything women do them follow.